Hey, everyone's here, here by Venom Sony's Pokemon 1 2 Adventure episode. On the last episode, we, uh, well, we continued across Route 13, well, you know, what was the little left of it, and then made our way here to La Cousin in that town, where, uh, we then got into some, uh, well, you know, I, uh, I was kind of getting a little angry at Juniper. But nevertheless, oh yeah, and we also battled Team Plasma because they showed up for whatever reason. Anyway, in this episode, we are uh, now here in Route 12, where, uh, yeah, we're just going to see what's up here, which, for the most part, a timeable. And surely I should put on my Dazzling Machine, because there are a bunch of uh, hidden items. Sadly, they're just... Okay, well, here we have an Ultra Ball, but typically they would be things along the lines of... If I can get one to show its ugly head... Okay. Oh, we're a candy. Okay, well, that's not what I was trying to show. Okay, Max Repel, sure. Why not? Okay, I'll just give up for the time being. Anyway, we've got a couple of items over here. One being a yellow shard, and the other, oh, being a P, P, up. I admit, I thought it was going to be a fungus. Anyway, uh, of course, obviously, being in the dark grass, obviously, being thrown into a double wild battle. And you know what, we'll do it just for, uh... Shit some giggles, because Asumara needs to uh, get to level 45 anyway, and uh, he's kind of close. Let's go. Oh yeah, also, I uh, should mention that off-screen, Flannery uh, obviously grew to level 45, and learned Fire Blast on her own. Because if you remember in the last episode, like, uh, one of the, uh, or, yeah, one of the uh, Pokey Mark slash Poke Center clerks uh, sells a couple of, uh, useful, like, powerful TMs, like, Thunder, I think, was it one of them, or something? I, I, I've totally forgotten, and I just looked at him as well, like, uh, like, before recording. But anyway, another one of them was Fire Blast, and I was kind of debating, eh, should I really teach this to Flannery? Like, buy this and teach it to her, because I don't know. And I'm pretty sure I even did say that she probably learned, or, actually, I think I kind of didn't think that she would learn it on her own through leveling up, but I was wrong, so, you know, I don't know everything about Pokemon, come on, guys. There's over 600 goddamn Pokemon, uh, spanning five generations. Uh, f you know, three of which I've only played. But, nevertheless, eh, you know what, fine, what about all these trainers here? You gotta have stamina! For what? Burn the flames of life and never stop moving forward. For what? So now that's done, there's another, there's a black belt over this way, obviously. Or I should know, I fought him off screen, didn't I? Yeah. My bad, yeah, because when I was accident, well, when I was running around trying to do a little bit of grinding off screen, I accidentally did kind of, uh, get in his line of sight and battled him. You know, he, he only had, like, you know, your typical fighting type Pokemon, whatever they were. Anyway, right there, I was a green shard, and I guess it pretty much does it. I guess there's no little tiny mushrooms that you could find here. Yeah, spoilers. Well, in the, in the original games, you would find a crap ton of tiny mushrooms, I think. Whatever. Anyway, um... And we bowed them on the last episode as well, didn't we? So, anyway, over here... Before we finally leave the, uh, the massiveness of Route 12, we, uh, we pick up a Max Potion. So, carrying on as our, you know... We were told by Juniper to, you know, head off to Opalicid City... So that we obviously can talk to the mayor, Drayden, about, you know, this whole dragon Pokemon of ice. Well, who said anything about ice? I don't know. I don't know. Anyway. 
It's not like I wanted to go there to fight the gym leader anyway, huh? Huh? Anyway. I'm sorry. I ended up losing my uniform. <sighs> I have a strange feeling like you did this two years ago as well. Hmm. Anyway, what do you guys say? My Minchino! My grandpa caught it for me. Tail slap is its specialty. Sure. I did my best to choose a Pokemon who is both cute and strong. Really? Minchino? Cute and strong, huh? Okay. And like that, we're now in a village, a village bridge. I tried to ask for directions, but it turned out I was talking to a Pokemon trainer. You need to be careful, too. Um, okay. Very important life lesson there. Don't talk to Pokemon trainers, because, you know, you could be trying to ask for directions, but they don't care. They just want to fight you, because they're thugs. They're, they're miscreants. They're evil people. Also, in the span of two years, that caravan where the, uh, People were, you know, just, you know, chilling, wanting to eat some berries and whatnot. Yeah, they got told to shove it, and in their place, a fucking tennis court was built. It seems legit. I mean, you know, get rid of a caravan, picnic site, build a tennis court, sure. Knock down a uh, Pokemon cemetery, build a Pokemon radio station, sure, seems legit. Anyway, my favorite thing nowadays is to compete in the PWT. Yes, well. And I'll go there later on. But, you know. To fight, you know, proper trainers. But anyway. Might as well. Anyway. Watch my furious tennis footwork. You get it now? You're real. We're really tough. Trainer class, Smasher. Eh, sure. Anyway, someday I want to play a doubles match for pairs of people and Pokemon. Eh, seems nice. Uh, anyway, probably should switch my Pokemans around. Though I'm pretty sure whoever the hell I switch to is probably going to be weak against whoever I'm going to be fighting anyway, so. But let's see, okay? Let's see. So. Of course, holding on the B button speeds these girls up. Anyway, my serve is 120 miles per hour! That's the kind of killer attack I'm about to show- Oh god, no! Yeah, frankly, I should have seen that coming, you know. She had a Lilligant, so it was only natural that she would have. Yeah. Anyway. Let's see. Uh, anything below the bridge? Around here? Over here? Oh, there's something over here, indeed. Oh, it's a trainer. Great. His name was Go. Artist Go. Yeah, you, you, you know, you know, like Vincent Van Gogh. <laughs> oh, ho, 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 ho. Anyway, big mushroom. Anyway, uh oh, and uh, a rare candy. That's like two we've gotten in a span of ten minutes. Jeez. I thought they're supposed to be called rare candies. Anyway, anyway, here's Darluff. Fuit, fuit, 
Fuit. Fuit, fuit. Hmm. Gotta love those fuitings. Anyway. Let's cross the bridge. No, not actually on top of the bridge. Under the bridge. Oh, son of a... I did that on purpose. I swear. Whatever, it's just a basket. Actually, we could kill it, but... Let's do it. Let's kill it. Yeah, you're dead. I mean, come on. If you're gonna electrocute a fish that's on the water, I mean, it's not gonna live, is it? Anyway, here's a hard scale, and my my, could you possibly be a Torinor? <gasps> How did I know? Pretty shallow water. Um, are you a hobo? What, what, what's going on here? Kuntz! It sounds slightly racist. But then again, I guess if you get rid of the end, you got Kuntz and, you know... I don't dislike Kutra. Anyway, singing gives life to my spirit. Will you listen to the voice of my spirit? Okay, sure. Anyway, um, I can't help notice that there, there's a, there's a hole in this wall. Hey, Kuntz, do you know about this? Is there something? Wait, what's that? Ba ba ba. Woo. Yo. Eek! I'm practicing. Get out! Okay, jeez, don't need to. My bad. Whatever. Anyway, here we have a Hoachable. And, oh, it's a Pokemon. But which one? Oh, it's a little narrow. Uh, as tempting as it is to want to shock the little guy, I... Eh, it just seems to me. But that is actually a point I should switch my Pokemon around. Now that uh tech's now level 46. You know, I wanna get everyone evenly. Equality for everyone, that's what I say. Oh no, oh well, okay, well we know what's gonna happen as soon as I leave this battle with a fucking Zegus! Whoa! Yeah, that little uh youngster's gonna be all up in my face. Still. I I can't do it. I can't bring myself to do it. I can't. Anyway. Oh, look, there he is, right in my face hole. I just keep running around. I've got the whole field to myself. So, oh yeah, I haven't put this up, have I? Oh, and to think there is actually an item somewhere. Oh, but no. Wait, what is it? It's a gold dog. You're not special. Get the hell out. The effects of weather disappeared. Oh, no. Because, you know, clearly the weather is in effect. Anyway. Okay, down here this time. Oh. Is it right here? Yep, it's a max ether. So we've completely bypassed the whole bridge part itself. Uh, but nevertheless, if you rummage around in the trash, you know, not, not, you know, not a whole hobo like, but still, you get a PP up. It's nice, right? Uh, what's this gotta say anyway? Also, there's a basketball field here as well now. I feel so bad for this village bridge. Village, bridge, bridge village. Anyway, Ekman. Ekman? I don't know. How about this? This sound. Doesn't it get your heart? Or get to your heart? Your mind? 
Not really. It's okay, I guess. Anyway. So they're just sort of running around for some reason. Oh, I missed the item over there. Oh, whatever. Practice as if it were a real game. Play in a real game as if it were practice. Those are, uh, those shorts some words to live by. I'm gonna quickly, actually, no, hang on, there we go. Okay, I'm gonna quickly go back and get those items. And surely I'll also speak around, because, you know, don't want every five seconds for there to be a battle. So, what's going on here? My great, great, great grandfather and his gutter worked together and built this village bridge. Okay. I'll be a stone cutter like my grandpa. I can get help from powerful Pokemon. Okay. If Team Plasma had tricked everyone into releasing all their Pokemon, it would have been impossible to build a bridge like this. People and Pokemon are inseparable. The relationship is not more or less than that. That's what I believe. Really. I, I, I'm pretty sure the village bridge was still... was here, you know, before Team Plasma, you know, reared their ugly heads and was like, Hey, release your Pokemon, guys. I mean, how... That old guy said that his great, great, great grandpa. I might have missed a great or I did a great. I don't know. Anyway. Ah, so I guess this is where the uh, chef from the caravan has been, you know, shipped to. Oh, you're a newcomer, aren't you? Then let's bet a word say a word. Are you ready? No, go away. I do believe if you obviously do battle him or her. It's her, isn't it? Yeah, I'm an idiot. Anyway, then I guess you didn't have to. Because I think that's what you had to do in the original. Then you had battle her first, and then you did the whole give everyone a berry something or other. Anyway, I'll, that can't be asked right now. Like I said, I don't want every five seconds for there to just be a battle. There is a lot to explore as well. And so. I wish somebody would raise me like this with free meals and a nap every day. I know, that, that, that does seem like the life, doesn't it? Anyway, I wonder if veteran Pokemon r raise or train young Pokemon. And gotcha. Follow me, Ducklet. And it's it's definitely following her. No one saw that coming, did they? Anyway, um, okay. I hear a sound from somewhere. Sometimes it sounds sad. Sometimes it sounds a little goofy. You think it could be a ghost? What? A girl is practicing music in that house? I see, I got it, thank you. Except this is a thank you gift. Uh, okay. I, Cause I swear, if you were gonna scare me with more ghost girl shit, I was, I was about to lose it. But okay, I guess for, uh, peeping on a girl singing, and then telling this girl, it's not a ghost, it's just girl singing, uh, you get some citrus berries. Keep somebody's secret, otherwise your secret will be out. Sure. Russo! La 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 la. Huh? What? Wait! Wait! I've been waiting for this day. You're the one thousandth opponent! I've got a 99 win strink. Strink? Strink. Anyway, be my battle opponent. No, go away. I understand. I've got a 99999999999 win streak. It's natural to be intimidated, but I can't let you go further unless you battle me. And there's definitely no way around me. Nope. You shouldn't use surf across the river, for example. Yeah, because, you know, I didn't know that already, and it's not like I totally did that, right? But I can't be asked to go back down a river across again just to get that item that's over there. It doesn't make much sense as to why I'm... N never mind. Fine, we'll do it. Wait, wait! I've been waiting for this day. You're the one thousand... Yeah, I know, guy. We just we just had this conversation, like, 30 seconds ago. Well, be my opponent anyway? Fine. <laughs> Even though you're just a fedgling, you'll still be my one thousandth win in a row!
easy. You know, except for that stupid Jiren. I mean, even after using an extra friend, it's still... Ugh. Just goes to show how kind of useless Flannery is, but still. I've steadily extended my win streak for two years. And now it's over. But I have a strong will. I declare that I'll try again to have a 1,000th win streak. I won't bail you next time, though. You'll just break my streak. Okay, thanks. I guess. Uh, anyway. In this house, is nothing. It might get filled with someone later, I don't know. Still, anyway. I'll cross all the bridges in the Unova region. Even the marine tube from Undela Town. Hmm, I'm so looking forward to it. Does that really count as a bridge? Like, an underwater bridge, I guess, but still. Anyway, why don't we move into this house? Those musicians are always nearby. Isn't it nice? I guess, but, you know. I learned all the names of the musicians. Derleth, Ekman, Russo, and Kuntz. Probably should be references to musicians of some sort, I guess. Actually, Dan Kuntz is an author, isn't he? Obviously, I'm not saying that, obviously, that it's bait like, Kuntz in this game is based off Dan Kuntz the author, because that would make no sense whatsoever, I'm just saying. Anyway. Oh, your Pokemon look pretty tired. Don't be shy. Take a nice long rest. Ah, thank you. Both you and your Pokemon are healthy and energetic. If you get tired, please talk to me. I'll let you take a nice long rest. Well, now I just... I feel so hard. Anyway, going back around again, as this time we do have to surf once more to pick up that item that I missed. We will then fight those two basketball players, and then we will leave. Well, actually, I'll call that an episode. Anyway. Must... Grab item. It's a big pearl. Wait, was that the item? I don't think it was. This morning was on this. Okay, so there are two items. So it's the big pearl there, and then down here we get a. <sighs> really? Ugh. This game sometimes. Th these games, whatever. Anyway, going back round, gonna probably run into 2,000 Pokemon, probably. Okay, just one. I would have been amazed if I didn't run into a single one whilst I was running, but, you know. Or not running at all. Still, whatever. Yeah, there are no weather effects, just go away, Golduck. Anyway, back round here. And let's play some b-ball. Oh, you look pretty good. Let's play some pickup. all out of the way and done. I guess the uh, only thing left to do now is progress. Let's try, hang on, first I need to go back to uh, 
the uh, house with the Healy woman. Wasn't that one? I don't think. I think it was the middle one. Actually, no, I think that was empty. That had people that were moving. This might be it then. Yeah. So, now that that is all done and taken care of, the only thing left to do now is, well, leave, I guess. I mean, that's what you usually do when you're in a place, leave right away. So, we'll do just that. Uh, yeah, uh huh. Mm. I'll see you guys on the next episode of Tony X Pokemon Went to Adventure. See you guys. Then... No, 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 why? Why? No, no, no.